ladies and gentlemen, and movie lovers of all kind, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I am your host, Brett Murphy, and for today's video, it is going to be another ranking. And I'm going to be ranking most of Denis Villeneuve's movies. I want to do a quick preface before getting into the actual ranking of the video to address the fact that I was not able to track down all of Denis Villeneuve's movies before doing this video. So movies like Polytechnic and August 32nd on Earth will not be included. However, the movies that will be included are from Incendies, which released in 2010, onward. Believe me folks, I try my absolute best to track all of these down before Dune's release. I tried looking on streaming services, I tried looking for physical media, and I really just had no luck and then time ran out. So that is why we are going to be ranking most of his movies. Denis Villeneuve is easily one of the most well-regarded directors working today. And that makes me mighty proud because he's a good old Canadian boy. And with the release of Dune, his latest feature, it seems like a good time to do a ranking of most of his movies. Before we hop into the actual ranking, I just wanted to let you all know that I have an entire playlist dedicated to all of my ranking videos. So be sure to check that out and I guarantee you'll find something you like. And with all that being said, let's hop right into things. Number 7. Incendies. This is by far Denis' most personal flick from this bunch of movies. It is a dark tale that goes to a lot of dark places, but still manages to have its true beauty shine through. I adored the switching of timelines, following the twins on their journeys and following the mother on hers. It tackles so many powerful themes involving family, love, the horrors of war, religion, rebellion, finding peace, grief, loss. It's really incredible just how much is packed into this two hour runtime. I was unbelievably moved by the time the credits rolled and was left in absolute awe. I was horrified, I was captivated, I was left absolutely speechless. This movie uses sound so effectively too. It was easily one of its strongest aspects. And it ends on a sort of twist that was genuinely a shock to the system. The only reason it doesn't rank higher is because it just doesn't really have that Denis Villeneuve feel. If you're familiar with his more recent American-made movies, then you know what I mean. He's got an unmatchable style that simply can't be replicated. And it isn't really present here which works to the movie's advantage, but doesn't work to its advantage in terms of this list. Nevertheless, I really still can't recommend it enough. Number 6. Enemy For starters, Jake Gyllenhaal, as he always does, proves why he's one of the best in the business working today. This dude really is one of a kind. The craziest thing about this movie, and the thing that always perplexes me and keeps me coming back to it, is that it is easily one of the most theorized movies in recent memory. I have seen countless Ending Explained videos, and each of them explain it and interpret it differently. And I even have my own personal interpretations that are completely different as well. It's really not that often that we're treated to a movie like this. Now it's certainly not an event film like Denis' more recent work, but I also don't really want to say much more because I don't want to risk spoiling any of this. I don't even want you to go and read the plot summary on IMDb or anything, just go and watch it. Please, seriously, do yourself a favor and watch it. Going in blind is best and you won't regret it. Number 5. Sicario this movie has grown on me ever so slightly since my first viewing. If you want a brief glimpse into my mindset after my first watch, I will direct you to this video which was released within the first month of my channel's life. Where I talk about how overrated I think Sicario is. I still think it's far from perfect, but I don't think it's a bad movie by any means despite it landing lower on this list. Because, let's face it, Denis doesn't miss. This movie is still pretty easily an 8 out of 10 despite my issues. Firstly, it is so beautifully shot by Roger Deakins, you perfect son of a bitch you. It has an incredibly haunting and memorable score from the late Johan Johansson. And as for the cast, my oh my, the cast knocks it out of the freaking park. With grounded, powerful, and mesmerizing performances from Emily Blunt, Josh Brolin, Daniel Kaluuya, and Benicio Del Toro, they all killed it. There are some remarkably intense, clench your teeth kind of moments. Not to mention, it starts with a bang and ends with a bang. But... Its slow, draggy pace held it back from being something more in my eyes. Number 4. Arrival On the surface, this movie seems pretty plain and simple. Alien ships land on Earth and we follow the linguist in charge of making first contact. 
But please believe me when I say that there is so much more to this movie than just simply that. The movie boasts gorgeous visuals, as they perfectly capture the size and scale of these colossal ships. An intriguing plot that will keep you guessing until the very end. And it all concludes with a shocking twist that will stick with you for quite some time after viewing as you continue to ponder the questions it poses. I'll finish with this. Amy Adams should have won a damn Oscar, let alone even be nominated. I mean, what does this poor woman have to do at this point? This one should have been it. Also, as a last note, I love the design they went with for the aliens here. It was something so different than what we get with the traditional movie aliens. Far from what we're used to seeing, and it was so refreshing. Number 3. Dune. I'm not gonna lie, this movie had me scared early on. For the first 40 minutes or so, this movie really dragged and I was worried I was not gonna like it at all. Thankfully, by the end, not only did it win me over, but I absolutely loved it. Everything that felt slow in the beginning came full circle by the end, and totally paid off. It is a big, epic space opera. It has some unbelievably phenomenal world building, a top-notch cast who all absolutely deliver. The visuals are something to behold. One of the best looking movies I have ever had the pleasure of laying my eyes on, with a truly unique style of its own. It is a weird, strange, sci-fi fantasy world, unlike anything I'd ever really experienced before. And Hans Zimmer delivered, as he always does, this time giving us a sensational and layered mix, this being, in my opinion, some of his best work. It has stuck with me ever since I left the theater, and I can most certainly guarantee that this is one I'm going to be watching time and time again and only going to grow fonder of. Now let's get that par 2 greenlit ASAP. Number 2. Prisoners. This movie holds some of the best acting performances I have ever seen in my entire 23 years of life thus far. Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal are the standouts, no doubt. Their dynamic, their friction, it's truly captivating. But the supporting cast most definitely hold their own as well. Paul Dano, Terrence Howard, Viola Davis, Melissa Leo, Maria Bello, and Dylan Minnette are all superb. The story for this movie is undeniably eerie and shockingly real feeling, accurately emulating many elements of real life tragedies similar to this. It marvelously blends real world horrors with an unsettling atmosphere, themes of loss, grief, mental health, determination, perseverance, and desperation. It is a very heavy and somber movie that at times can be difficult to watch. But I assure you that with everything I've just mentioned, paired with this movie's unpredictability, with its various jaw-dropping twists, make it more than worth your time. And number one, Blade Runner 2049. Blade Runner 2049, in my mind, is Denis' magnum opus. And one of the greatest movies of all time. I mean, it's quite literally in my top 10 favorites of all time. I adore every aspect of it and don't have a single flaw. It is a masterpiece through and through. The visuals are some of the most dynamic, complex, and eye-pleasing I have ever seen. The cinematography from the great Roger Deakins nabbed him his long overdue first Oscar. The film's score from Hans Zimmer and Benjamin Wallfish blends a haunting atmosphere with a cyberpunk-like aesthetic. The set design, costume design, color scheme, all of it is truly magnificent. Performances across the board were exceptional, the story felt like a natural progression of the original, while still managing to feel epic, grand, and like its own thing. I could gush about it all day and all night. For me, there was never really any doubt as to what was going to be my number one pick, and I imagine it'll likely always remain that way. It's just too damn bad that it was a major flop at the box office or we might have had a much deserved sequel. So that is all for today's video folks, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with my ranking. And while you're at it, feel free to let me know what ranking you'd like to see next. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and if you'd like to see more content, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that little bell icon, that way you can be notified about all of my latest uploads. And as always, stay safe, thank you so much for watching. And that's a wrap. Hey you, yeah you, if you made it this far, just know I appreciate you. And while you're here, consider hitting that subscribe button.